Chapter 1. The Mystery Unfolds Lily was a curious girl who loved exploring the woods. She would often spend her afternoons wandering through the forest, taking in the sights and sounds of nature. One day, while on a walk, Lily stumbled upon a group of trees that were talking to each other. At first, she thought it was her imagination playing tricks on her, but as she moved closer, she could hear them more clearly. The trees were definitely talking. Shocked and curious, Lily decided to investigate the mystery of the talking tree. She couldn't believe what she was seeing and hearing. As she listened closely, she noticed that the trees were communicating with each other in a way that she had never seen or heard before. They seemed to be speaking in a language all their own, one that only they could understand. Lily was determined to get to the bottom of this mystery. She made a mental note of the location of the talking trees and headed back home to plan her investigation. She couldn't wait to share her discovery with her friends and unravel the secrets of the talking trees. Chapter 2. Searching for Clues The next day, Lily called up her friends, Jack and Sarah, and shared with them the incredible discovery she had made in the woods. Jack was skeptical at first, but Sarah was intrigued and excited to join Lily on her mission to uncover the mystery of the talking trees. Together, they set out to find more clues about the talking trees. They walked through the woods, looking for any signs of unusual activity or behavior. They noticed that the talking trees were mostly located in a particular area, clustered together near a small creek. Lily wondered if the location had something to do with the tree's ability to communicate. As they explored, they encountered some obstacles and challenges that made their investigation more difficult. They had to cross a stream, climb over a fallen tree, and avoid getting caught in some thorny bushes. Despite these setbacks, they persevered, driven by their curiosity and determination to solve the mystery. They eventually came across a clearing in the forest, where they spotted a group of birds perched on a nearby branch. Lily wondered if the birds knew anything about the talking trees, so she approached them and asked if they had heard anything unusual in the forest. The birds chirped in response, and Lily and her friends were surprised to discover that they could understand the birds' language. They learned that the birds had indeed heard the trees talking, and that the trees were trying to warn them about a group of loggers who were planning to cut down the forest. Lily and her friends realized that they needed to act fast to protect the forest and the talking trees. They decided to continue their investigation, but this time with a sense of urgency and purpose. They knew that they had to find a way to stop the loggers from destroying the forest and harming the talking tree. As they continued their search, Lily noticed a strange marking on one of the trees. It looked like a symbol or a code of some sort. Lily took a picture of the marking with her phone and decided to investigate it further. With the help of her friends, Lily did some research and discovered that the marking was a symbol used by a group of environmental activists who had been fighting to protect the forests in the area. Lily realized that they could join forces with the activists and work together to save the talking tree. Feeling energized and empowered, Lily and her friends continued their search for clues, determined to uncover the truth and save the forest. Chapter 3. A New Friend Lily and her friends were now more determined than ever to uncover the truth about the talking trees and protect the forest from the loggers. They decided to split up and cover more ground, searching for any clues that might lead them to a solution. As they searched, Lily and Sarah stumbled upon a tree that was different from the others. It had a face carved into its trunk, and its branches seemed to be moving in a strange way. They approached the tree cautiously, unsure of what to expect. Suddenly, the tree spoke to them. Hello there, it said in a deep, soothing voice. I am Woody, the oldest and wisest tree in this forest. I have been watching you and your friends, and I am impressed by your determination and courage. Lily and Sarah were stunned. They had never heard of a talking tree before, let alone met one in person. They asked Woody how he was able to talk, and Woody explained that he and the other trees in the forest had a special ability to communicate with each other using a complex system of vibrations and signals. Woody shared his knowledge of the forest and helped the children understand the unique properties of the trees. He told them that the trees were living beings, just like animals and humans, and that they played a vital role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. 
He also explained that the loggers posed a serious threat to the forest and the talking trees. They were planning to cut down the trees and use them for lumber without any regard for the consequences to the environment. Lily and Sarah realized that they needed Woody's help to save the forest and the talking trees. They asked Woody if he would be willing to join forces with them and work together to stop the loggers. Woody agreed, and together they hatched a plan to gather more information about the loggers and their operations. They decided to set up a surveillance system, using the tree's ability to communicate to monitor the loggers' movements and activities. Over the next few days, Lily, Sarah, and Woody worked together to set up the surveillance system. They placed sensors on the trees, which allowed them to detect vibrations and sounds from the surrounding area. They also set up a network of signals and codes, which they could use to communicate with each other and share information. As they worked, Lily and her friends grew closer to Woody. They learned more about his life and experiences, and they came to see him as a friend and ally in their mission to save the talking tree. With Woody's help, Lily and Sarah felt more confident and prepared to take on the loggers. They knew that the road ahead would be difficult and dangerous, but they were determined to do whatever it takes to protect the forest and the talking tree. Chapter 4. Uncovering the Truth Thanks to Woody's help, Lily and her friends were able to gather more information about the loggers and their operations. They discovered that the logging company was planning to clear cut a large portion of the forest, including the area where the talking trees were located. Lily and her friends were horrified by this news. They knew that the destruction of the forest would have a devastating impact on the ecosystem, and they were determined to stop the loggers at any cost. With Woody's guidance, they developed a plan to infiltrate the logging camp and gather evidence of the company's wrongdoing. They spent several days gathering equipment and preparing for their mission. One night, they snuck into the logging camp and began to gather evidence. They took photos of the loggers cutting down trees, recorded audio of their conversations, and even managed to steal some documents from the company's headquarters. As they worked, Lily and her friends realized just how dangerous their mission was. They were surrounded by heavy machinery and dangerous equipment, and any wrong move could lead to serious injury or even death. Despite the danger, they persevered. They knew that the fate of the talking trees and the forest was in their hands, and they were willing to do whatever it takes to save them. Finally, they uncovered the truth about the logging company's plans. They discovered that the company was planning to clear, cut the forest, and sell the timber for a quick profit, without any regard for the environment or the local community. Lily and her friends were outraged by this discovery. They knew that they had to take action to stop the loggers before it was too late. They organized a peaceful protest, inviting the local community to join them in their fight to save the forest. They made posters and banners, and marched through the streets, chanting slogans and raising awareness of the dangers of deforestation. The protest was a huge success. Dozens of people joined Lily and her friends in their fight, and the media began to take notice of their cause. They were interviewed by local newspapers and television stations, and their message began to spread across the country. Thanks to their efforts, the logging company was forced to reconsider its plans. They realized that the public was not in favor of their destructive practices, and they decided to abandon their plans to clear, cut the forest. Lily and her friends were overjoyed by this news. They had saved the talking trees and the forest, and they had shown the world that young people can make a difference when they stand up for what they believe. As they celebrated their victory, they knew that their fight was not over. They pledged to continue to protect the forest and the talking trees, and to fight against any threats to the environment and the planet. Chapter 5. Saving the Trees Lily and her friends had successfully saved the talking trees and the forest from the loggers, but they knew that they couldn't stop there. They needed to ensure that the forest would be protected for future generations. The forest protectors organized several events to celebrate their victory, and to raise awareness about their cause. They organized a tree-planting ceremony, inviting the local community to help plant new trees in the forest. They also organized a nature walk, inviting people to explore the forest and learn about the different plant and animal species that call it home. Thanks to their efforts, the community began to see the forest in a new light. They realized that the forest was not just a collection of trees and plants, 
but a complex ecosystem that was home to a variety of wildlife and played a crucial role in regulating the climate and maintaining the health of the planet. The forest protectors also worked to establish a new set of regulations and guidelines to protect the forest. They met with local government officials and presented their case, arguing that the forest needed to be protected for the sake of the environment and the local community. Their efforts paid off, and the government agreed to implement new regulations to protect the forest. The regulations included limits on logging, restrictions on the use of pesticides and other harmful chemicals, and increased protections for endangered species. As a result of their work, the forest was now protected for future generations. The talking trees were safe, and the forest was now a symbol of hope and resilience. Lily and her friends continued to work tirelessly to protect the forest and the environment. They knew that the fight to protect the planet was far from over, but they were determined to continue their work and make a positive impact on the world. Years later, as Lily looked back on her adventure in the forest, she realized that it had changed her life forever. She had learned the importance of protecting the environment and the planet, and she had discovered the power of activism and the impact that young people can have on the world. And as she stood beneath the canopy of the talking trees, listening to their gentle whispers in the breeze, she knew that she had found her calling. She would always be a protector of the forest and a champion for the planet.